And with a subway system that's over 100 years old, there's plenty of history and architecture you can explore. Here's Dave Wallen with a landmark tour you can enjoy. If you have a sense of adventure and you want to see a part of New York that most people never get to see, then the Look at a Landmark tour is for you. Uh, so we've done a number of stations in Brooklyn. Uh, Avenue H on the Brighton Line was one. Uh, we did a Squire Vickers tour in Brooklyn. Today we're here at uh, Bleecker Street Station. We've also uh, done, led a tour at Columbus, uh, Columbus Circle Station as well. Um, there are more than 70 stations in the system or landmark. So as we've been um, rehabilitating them, we've been uh, fixing them. Once the uh, work is complete, that's when we then schedule the tour. New York City Transit, in conjunction with the New York Transit Museum, has put together a tour of newly rehabilitated landmark subway stations. Transit Chief Architect Judith Kunoff and the Education Department of the Transit Museum started doing these tours two years ago to highlight the unique historic qualities of the subway stations. We very much talk about um, what we refer to as the original historic architectural fabric of the station. The highlights range from glass tile and colored mosaics to the recently renovated Avenue H station. The Look at a Landmark tour helps bring subway history to life. Uh, Avenue H that I mentioned, the one in Brooklyn, uh, the, what makes that one so special, it's the only wooden uh, station house in the system. So it really depends on, on the station. You don't have to be a member of the New York Transit Museum to go on these tours. They are currently open to anyone who wants to learn a little bit about what makes the transit system in New York so unique. Generally speaking, the tours have been given on the weekends. Uh, Sunday afternoon typically seems to be a good, good time slot for people to join us. Look at a Landmark Tour is a fantastic opportunity for anyone to take a true look into New York City Transit's past. We are in the process of putting together podcasts for those who miss the tours uh, so that they can download the podcast from the website and then take the tour, if you will, by themselves. Um, and I guess we're really looking for feedback, those of you who do take the tour. Um, we're looking for your feedback so we can um, make the tours better. So next time you're in the subway, don't just go through the station, come to the station to learn about its rich history. I'm Dave Wallen, reporting for Transit Transit News.